sitting uh, near Ganga Rishikesh, and this is a Sambal cafe. It's a very ethnic and yet uh, trendy sort of a place, and I have the pleasure of your presence here. You have come all the way from Australia. Yeah. What's your name? Oh, I'm Susan. Susan what? Susan, talk to me sitting here, um, listening to Ganga. How is the feeling for you? Uh, it's very peaceful and it's happy as well. It's like, um, you know, there's all this building along the river and the bathing guts and the temples and um, just the view of the mountains and the river rushing by. It's a very peaceful, spiritual and happy place. It makes me feel happy. <laughs> you came to India last time and while leaving you had tears in your eyes. What was it that moved yeah. you in inside? It was really strange actually. So I had spent six, six weeks in India. This was in 2019. And so I was in Uttarakhand and then in Varanasi. And then I flew back to Delhi and all the time I was staying in Indian houses, you know, with people, homestays. And then I went to a hotel near the airport for my last hurrah before I said goodbye to India. And so sort of when I went into the hotel, I was like, oh, not so happy with this. But then um, the next morning the taxi came to take me to the airport and just all these tears came into my eyes and I was crying because I was leaving India. And like I was saying, you know, I've, I've traveled in many countries and I've never cried when I said goodbye to a country. I've cried when I said hello to Australia once or twice, but <laughs> <laughs> not on leaving. Yeah, it was very different. Is mm. that the reason which made you uh, come back or there's something which you have a bonding or something? Yeah, you know, um, when I came to India in 2019, I said to myself, this is going to be the first of many trips to India because I really want, it's, it's such a huge country and I really wanted to explore the different aspects. And so um, I always intended to come back, but then there was COVID. But um, so this is as soon as COVID has reduced, here I am again and again back at the Ganges. And, um, you know, I came here to go to Valley of Flowers was part of my intention. But uh, we weren't able to do that because my friend got COVID. So here I am spending time in Rishikesh and going to ashrams and doing yoga. You yeah. look very happy sitting here. Yeah. Um, so the three weeks of uh, yoga workshop that you attended last time, how was it in terms of your understanding of India and uh, mm. about yourself? Um, I do a lot of yoga. I love yoga. Ah. And so this was a chance really to spend time where it was only yoga for three weeks. And so to tell the truth, I think I got more from my spiritual journey into Uttarakhand than I got from the yoga classes. It was when I went to the temples and I did Gang Ganga Aarti and just seeing how people lived and I, vi I visited villages. So that actually taught me more about myself than the yoga did. Yeah, it was funny. But I do love my yoga and you know there were talks and we were learning about spirituality and I, I was very interested learning about Shiva coming to this part of India and um, also we learned quite a lot about Hanuman but also just you know the yogic practices. When you mentioned about uh, learning about Lord Shiva and there is direct relationship of Ma Ganga with Lord Shiva. Uh, ah. It descended from his locks, you must have heard that, right? I do, I know that, yeah. Yeah, so very, very special place. Mm. I, I think I am happy to hear that when you have a three weeks of structured yoga class, um, that is not resonating with your uh, true self. While you are here in Uttarakhand visiting temples, ashrams, mm. being near Ganga, it, it mm. is more of revelation of who you are. Uh, what has been your understanding from that point of view about yourself? Um, I was really struck with the closeness with the river. So to me, like the, you know how there's the morning and the evening rituals along the Ganges. I thought that was really special, like the connection with nature and the, the closeness with God, you know, that God is so 
part of, like nature is part of God, God is nature, it's all together. And I think for me, you know how I said that we did a Ganga Aarti or right down, just a few people, maybe five people doing the ceremony by the river, to me that was maybe the most special thing that we did. And for me, um, yeah, to feel the power and the immediacy of nature was wonderful. Mm. I felt very connected. I, I will not say that um, you are not young, uh, but I'll say that you have seen a lot of world. So your experiences in Australia uh, all these years, uh, a different sort of exposure, uh, different lifestyle, and mm -hmm. what you see here in India, uh, there is a, a different uh, sense of inquisitiveness or uh, quest in you right now, which wasn't there I think earlier. Um, I think I've always had it, but Australia, well, the people that I share my life with in Australia, it's not a very religious country, or my, my circles in Australia are not very religious, but for myself there's a quest, and so coming to India and being in a place where everyone speaks about it and it's a really important part of life is very revealing to me, yeah, and that teaches me. So very basic question which um, relates to everyone is um, in your understanding of life at this point what is the purpose of life? Um, I don't know. It, I think um, like I'm interested to explore different ideas but I haven't come to that final answer. Yeah, so I think... Um, Most of us are also searching for that answer. Oh, that's good to know. I'm not the only one who doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, I can think of a lot of... Thank you very much. Thanks. I can think of a lot of guidelines for how life should be lived, but that's not really the purpose of life. That's a different thing. So... Um, yeah, I don't know. If I was a Hindu, maybe I'd say it was to be reincarnated in a way that I would learn the next lesson I need to learn. But, um, you know, I'm still exploring and trying to find things out. I want to thank you um, profusely and uh, would request you to share your name again. Ah, uh, yes, Susan Watt. Yeah. How do you spell that? Uh, S-U-S-A-N-W-A-T-T. -T. Thank you very much. Lots of good wishes. You're welcome. Thank you. Namaste.